What is going on guys? Today we have another headline review. It is going to be the 88 rated Sane coming up next. <laughs> So today we have the 88 rated headliner left wing Sane German Man City beast. His stats look absolutely insane. He's only got three other cards um, in three different ratings. He's got an 86 normal card, 87 UCL and 87 in form left wing. So what do I think about this card? Well... Just, just well. The the stats don't do not lie with this card. He's got 97 pace, 85 shooting, 82 passing, 88 dribbling, and 74 physical. Wow, just insane. The pr the price of this card is looking at around about 470 to 480 currently on the PlayStation and on the Xbox. So a pretty big a pretty big price tag for him to be honest. Um, but Obviously, like with all these headliners, they do go up as their informs do uh, come out. So, with Man City being how they are at the minute, I really could see this kid getting another inform at some point, which would be fantastic. If he managed to get two saves for his next one, doesn't get a plus two, you're looking at nearly a 90-rated Sane, which would be incredible before team of the season anyway. So, basic information of this card, he's got four-star skill moves with three-star weak foot again. It's not incredible, but the four-star skills is very nice. I possibly would look to get another star weak foot on there, but it all depends on where you're playing him. So he is left-footed and stands at six foot tall with a high attacking work rate and a defensive uh, medium work rate. And that is it for the basics. So attribute time. <clears throat> Overall, he only has 2,192 games 900 what, what am I saying 2192 in-game stats total so not the greatest in games we've seen but still pretty up there he has got 97 pace which gives us 94 acceleration and 98 sprint speed so chemistry stars with pace is a definite no-no for this card there is no point whatsoever having them but we'll move on to the other stats so He's got 88 attacking positioning. He's got 85 finishing, 90 shot power, 81 long shots, and 89 volleys. He has 86 vision with 87 crossing, 83 short pass, and 86 curve. He then has 90 agility with 82 balance, 82 reactions, 86 ball control, and 90 dribbling. And then to kick it off, he's got 83 stamina with only 74 strength. So... Realistically, with this card, if I was going to pick a chem style, I'd, it depends on where you're playing. And personally, I don't like wingers, and I've said this in pretty much most reviews. I'm not a fan of them. I think in the in this game, it's definitely crunching everything to the middle, and I kind of like how that works. And with Sane only having a freestyle work weak foot, I'd probably either put him for you on the right forward, right wing, or left or, or right striker. Um, I'd kind of stay away from the the left side as long uh, unless he is actually a winger on that side. But like I said, I prefer it down the middle, and I think that's probably how most people play. I don't really see a huge amount of people using a winger system, um, or at least possibly just the, the forwards, the left and right forwards in the 4-3-2-1. But I personally would put this guy up on the right striker just because of the pace. You add, say, a finishing card to this uh, to this card, you're looking at 93 shooting and 79 physicality, which bumps his... Uh, strength up to 79, I believe it is. Uh, let me just double check, make sure if I reset that. Yeah, so it's, his strength will go up to 79. He'd have 74 aggression with 77 jumping. But the shooting stat definitely goes up massively with 99 shot power, 90 finishing, 93 positioning, and 99 and 96 volleys and long shots. So you're getting a huge upgrade with the finishing stat on him. Um, and personally, that is where I'd go with him if you're putting him as a striker. If you're putting him as a winger, possibly something to do with maybe the dribbling and passing. Um, again, each to their own with where you play him. I liked him as a striker personally. I thought he was definitely fast enough. With the finishing stat he had, he had more than enough shooting on him. Um, Dribbling-wise, fantastic. Passing-wise, I'd say it's average, personally. I didn't really find his passing the best out of him. Um, like I said, I'd have him as a striker. You obviously could change change whatever you want with him. Left wing is probably all right as well, but I don't play very well with wingers on this game. Whereas the dribbling of this card, 
you just you look at it it's 88 overall he's got the agility he's got the dribbling stat the composure weren't the greatest for me and i found i found his dribbling to be a little bit sluggish in the sense of probably because he's quite tall he's not nipping in and out of everyone he is quite a big target to hit um, and that is where i think he lets down a little bit and i don't know if that is just because he is six foot but obviously ronaldo doesn't have that problem or that's just how this card works he just seemed a little bit slow on the movements going left and right. Um, overall wise, fantastic. But that's probably my only criticism of this card. Um, and it's what I'm going with. So, overall rated, I'm giving him an 8.8. .8. I thought he was a fantastic card. Was he worth the money? Potentially as an investment point, yes. Because I think Man City are doing very, very well this year. And he's obviously doing something right. I reckon he possibly will get one or two more informs by the end of the year. So investment-wise in the long run, probably a nice investment. Especially only 480k for an 88. If he manages to go up to a 90, his price has surely got to hit the 600 marks in my opinion. But that is obviously the risk you're taking. Does he go up? Does he not? That is the question to ask and whether you want to invest. If it was to possibly pick this card up, I possibly wouldn't say the 480 price tag is worth it. I'm just looking at, you can get Hazard for 212k, so almost, well, pretty much half the price. And I think Hazard's just that little bit better. Um, and personally, if I was going for a, a Sane just because I wanted Sane, I'd probably just go for his 87 that's 162k or like I said 212 for Hazard. So that's my opinion. I still think he's a fantastic card but for money value I possibly wouldn't pick him up unless you need a German in your team or you need you like Man City or just like Sane in general. Personally investment wise brilliant. For the money, maybe not. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Have you used this card or any of the other cards? Do you have a different opinion? Let me know down below what you think. Uh, make sure you smash this like button. Can we get 10 likes for the Sane review? And we'll get some more out very, very soon. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and subscribe. And I'll see you all again next time. Peace.